let's try to understand what is OLTP. I believe OLTP everybody would be familiar with. Can anybody give the uh, full form of OLTP? Online transactional processing, transaction processing, perfect. So it is, as the name says, it is transactional. So its very basic nature is transactional. It, is, it has to be read optimized as well as write optimized. So typically transactional means uh, people are connected and the systems are writing continuously data for each transaction. As well as if there are some reports, basic reporting available, then read also is happening. So that's, that's about OLTP. Typically on all production houses, majority of the work uh, which is contributed is in terms of transaction. So everybody would be aware of how do you commit your transaction, how do you retrieve data from committed transaction. The, if something goes wrong, you need to roll back. And all, all these systems typically are based on ERP. So some way or the other way you are dealing with uh, enterprise resources and accordingly you are maintaining your uh, complete system architecture. Now if you want to extract that persisted data for your analysis purpose, it can be sales report, it can be your performance uh, report or for that matter it can be ad hoc report. On the fly you, you want to choose your uh, parameters. Is OLTP uh, optimal? So as I mentioned uh, already, it is mainly emphasis, emphasis is on write uh, optimized and then read optimized. So obviously you you have to have best trade off between the two, but read has to be much much faster. So you cannot just click on save and expect uh, customer waiting for longer duration. So obviously uh, write is more optimized, read is lesser optimized, but if you want to generate those type of uh, reports, sales report, ad hoc reports, then you would need read optimized database. So if you, you have that particular requirement, then OLTP is certainly not a good idea. These are few limitations. It may hit the performance of live transactions. The most and crucial part, you cannot do any reporting at the stake of your perform live performance. Ultimately, transactional data is something which is impacting your current users, current uh, customers, whereas reporting is something which may impact your future business. So business versus users, obviously users is on top priority. SQL will become too complex because it is normalized data and in the normalized data you, you will have data segregated through relations if you want to build all the dimensions on the same group or on the same page, then there would be a lot of joints involved and that, that itself will take time. So it is performance hit. Then for few types of analysis, you need to pre-process. So when I say pre-process, for example, we just uh, in the first session we discuss about uh, example where you want to generate a report, geographical report. So you want to generate first of all your regional report and then uh, your uh, specific areas, high level report. So regional report can be report, country specific report and high level report can be just uh, four uh, continents uh, on the globe and you want to see how they are performing. Now in that case, lot of aggregation is required. At runtime, you cannot expect that uh, somebody will click on uh, generating report, just just clicking one button and it is going to aggregate immediately. It, it, it is not going to happen. So in that case, you will have to pre-aggregate the data, which is not possible in OLTP. 
because when you will execute that type of job obviously it is going to hit your live performance then you cannot yeah so you cannot do uh, live analysis so real time analysis is not possible for obvious reason that your production data will be hit in terms of performance so the data is optimally designed in OLTP for transaction and for analysis this is not optimally designed it is read only purpose uh, to see uh, to show uh, users very very basic features 